Welcome to Language and Communication Skills Applied to Heritage Promotion. I am Vittorio Ganfi. I am adjunct professor at the UNINT University or the International University of Rome. Uh, I am adjunct professor of terminology and linguistics. Uh, in this uh, course, we will see some basic notions about corpus linguistic analysis and about test linguistics. Uh, in particular, uh, in the first lesson, we will, uh, we will see some basic knowledge that we are useful in order to perform textual analysis on text, of course. Uh, in the second part, of course, we will see uh, some underpinning of uh, corpus-based linguistic analysis. Uh, the aim of the, of the course is, in fact, the exploration of terminology and textual research to, uh, to corpus and to text analysis. Uh, the, uh, we, you will have some basic knowledge about text linguistics, uh, as I've already mentioned, especially in the first part of the, of the class. Uh, in the second part of the class, we will talk more about uh, the way of applying this knowledge to cultural and uh, heritage writing. Uh, and also we will use corpus linguistics in order to uh, obtain this aim. Uh, these are the plan of the course. Uh, in the, this course is divided in several chapters, five chapters. The first one is devoted to textual units, uh, in particular uh, to the notion, to the basic notion of cohesion occurrence as basic principle for text analysis. Section one is devoted to uh, basic principle, uh, very basic, uh, basic principle of test linguistics. Section two is devoted to cohesion and cohesive mechanism. Section three uh, to the currents and logic semantic dynamism in text. The second chapter uh, has to do with principle of textuality. Uh, and the, school, the aim of this chapter uh, is to enhance students uh, with the uh, instrument for uh, textual and programmatic analysis. In particular, in the first section, uh, we will uh, see cross textual differences among general types, uh, specialized in particular with versus uh, popularizing communication. In section two, uh, we will see uh, some uh, underpinning of uh, test structures and uh, paradigmal elements. And in the last section, we will speak about cultural and heritage writing. The third chapter of the course is devoted to textual types and textual function. Uh, in particular, in the first section, we will speak about textual function in accordance with functional principles. In section two, we will speak about identification of linguistic features of text related to cultural tourism. Uh, in the last section, we will uh, deal with some samples of text related to the domain of cultural tourism. Chapter four uh, is devoted to test of feature for sector specific communication and for popularization of cultural heritage. Uh, in the section one, we, we will speak of special language and cultural tourism. In section two, we will speak about lexical characterization of cultural communication. And the last session is the word to lexical syntactic patterns. Uh, the last chapter of this course is, though, is, this, is the chapter, chapter in which we'll speak more about corporal 
linguistics in particular, we will uh, uh, we will see how we can use corpora in order to um, uh, mining information from corpus. For the reason, in the first section, we will speak about uh, uh, corpus methodology with particular regard to sketch engine. In section two, we will speak about information retrieval from corpora, uh, and we will, we will see which kind of research we can perform using a corpus. And in the last session, we will speak about the relationship between text linguistics and the use of corpus. Uh, in this slide, you can see some bibliographic, some reference that I have used during this course that are used during the entire, uh, my entire course. Uh, last uh, for representation in the last slide of the presentation, instead you will see that the uh, uh, final examination for this course is a multiple choice question. So in order to obtain uh, the evaluation of the exam, you will have to do a multiple choice questions. Thanks.